products I'm loving for December. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm loving this December is my drink bottle. I got this from Kmart, I think. It was, I don't know how much money. I always drink two, sometimes two and a half of these. They're 1.8 liters but they got a straw and lots of big drink bottles you have to like twist it and like drink it and that's just so disgusting i don't do that so this is a staple part of my life now second of all these leggings you've probably seen me wear them 68 hundred thousand times now these are from from white fox boutique and it's a collab with sarah's day sorry i can't really see if i'm squinting a lot it's really bright it's like 28 degrees in here it's very very good quality it's stretchy tag -y. um these are just so comfortable and they fit really nicely i just could wear these my whole life if i could and i want to get more from her but it's so expensive i think these are like 70 dollars probably cheaper than some of the adidas stuff but it's such good quality next up i have dove shampoo and conditioner these two are great i have like really sensitive hair some shampoos make my hair go so greasy i just washed it this morning and look at this look at that quality of hair it feels so nice it makes my hair feel really light and fluffy and smooth and not greasy today i've got the daily care i switch between the types you see these around the supermarket i'd get them because i'm a dove girl now this little thing you're probably like what the hell this is a scentsy pouch so there's a brand called scentsy which my mum is like a business partner with and they do melts these things car fresheners um cleaning products all this jazz all this fancy schmancy stuff and so this one is a car freshener, but what I do is I hang it in my room and it makes my room smell very nice and it's really strong. It makes your whole room smell and it lasts ages, but you probably will get used to the smell, so I like to change them up a bit. I brought one into my classroom because that stinks. Disgusting. It made it smell good. So I recommend these. They're only $12 for a little pouch. There are so many other things. There are so many burners as well like i get all the free stuff mm, i love it so if you're looking for some nice smelly stuff i recommend this now i'm also loving these little things called hemp seeds hemp seeds are little seeds they're really high in protein and i just chuck them in smoothies or on top of yogurt you can't really taste them they don't have a taste i wouldn't eat them by themselves that's a bit rank but having them with oats, just mixing them in with things. It's giving you a lot more protein into your daily intake. These are good. They're just a weird, fun texture. This is what they look like. And I just use them all the time now. It's like a daily little ritual. Now, because it's becoming summer, I'm loving fruit. I'm loving strawberries at the moment. Let me go down. Strawberries, mangoes, blueberries. They're the fruits of the season. They're just like, the amazingness of everything. Like, look how big these are. They're my favorite fruits of the season. In summer, it's better to have natural fruit rather than lots of lollies because this is not processed. This is better for you. I mean, of course you can still have your lollies, but if you're feeling like a juicy little refreshing sweet snack, munch on a strawberry so this right here mavis protein peanut butter with hemp seeds i tried their normal peanut butter and it was mm, 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 not good it tasted weird this stuff is nice it's better for you naturally it's like I don't know how to explain it. It's just got lots of flavour to it and it's higher in protein because normal peanut butter is just pretty much like high in fat but healthy fat, which is good. But 
this one, she's got a bit more balance to it and I find it tastes really good. I have it in smoothies, oats, pancakes, all that jazz. 10 out of 10. Like that is my all time favorite now. I will never go to any other type of peanut butter because that is just my main one now. I am also just loving in general, having for breakfast, protein pancakes. Now, if I'm thinking, what the hell Paris? What happened to your smoothies? I'm not really feeling them lately like I haven't had a smooth bowl in ages like it's maybe every once a week before I used to have it every single day for breakfast I just find pancakes keep me fuller for longer because I'm trying to increase my food intake on a daily basis just because I was told if I make a meal just add that little bit extra with every meal to help me achieve my goal which is putting on three kilograms and I find that the pancakes are very filling so they usually consist of like banana, two eggs, protein powder, hemp seeds, peanut butter, cocoa powder, and then fruit. And it's got so much balance to it. It's got the protein, carbs, and fat. And I find they taste bloody delicious. I'm sure I've got a video posted somewhere. So if you're looking for one, just scroll through my channel and I'm sure you'll find one. If you're not aware yet, I'm currently, why can't I say it? I'm currently loving um, kombuchas. Ooh, I haven't got one with me right here right now. I've started to love the Remedy Pink Lemonade or Raspberry Lemonade, whatever it is. In my health food shops, I've talked about that. They're just overall an all-round deliciousness drink. I'm also loving the Happy Way Vegan Chocolate Protein Powder. I find the vegan ones taste a bit better. I don't know why. And they just like a bit lighter than don't like make me feel a bit but all of their products are really good not too sweet but it's sweet and I also love their vanilla one too um, I chuck that in smoothies oats pancakes and it's just an all-round good choice of protein powder so I recommend that brand and also Tropica I find I've only tried their vanilla I didn't like it that much like it wasn't as good as the happy way one but their superfood powders like spirulina all that stuff I get from there just a random one I'm loving sun-dried tomatoes now I've hated tomatoes my whole life I'm only just starting to tolerate them but they need to be cut up really smallly or thinly if I can't just buy a whole tomato mm -mm, no that's not gonna happen but the sun-dried ones are very nice so Headphones, could be a certain type of music, could be a singer, could be clothes, could be a food that you're loving. Just comment below one of your favourite December favourites. And yeah, I'll catch you in day 14.